Good morning, everyone. My name is Sarah Scott. I am here with you today to share the next step of the scriptures. While we are in the practice of socially distancing ourselves and we will be unable to meet together during this Holy Week at church for services, we wanted to allow ourselves the ability to follow Jesus's journey throughout the week. So to do that, what we decided to do was to ask different members of our congregation to read the scriptures day by day so that we can each follow where Jesus had come from, where he's going, all the way from Palm Sunday to Easter Sunday. So I have the next step in the scriptures. So we are just coming off of Palm Sunday, where Jesus has now entered into Jerusalem to praise and thanksgiving, to shouts of Hosanna, and they have laid down their coats, they laid down the palms, also that he would not have to get his feet dirty. So he has come through the temple gates. The first thing he's going to do is go to enter the temples. Once he gets there, he does cause quite a disturbance. So I will be reading now from Matthew chapter 21, verses 12 through 17. Jesus entered the temple courts and drove out all who were buying and selling there. He overturned the tables of the money changers and the benches of those selling doves. It is written, he says to them, my house will be called a house of prayer, but you are making it a den of robbers. The blind and the lame came to him at the temple, and he healed them. But when the chief priests and the teachers of the law saw the wonderful things he did, and the children shouting in the temple courts, Hosanna to the son of David, they were indignant. Indig indignant. Do you hear what these children are saying, they asked him? Yes, replied Jesus. Have you ever read? From the lips of children and infants, you, Lord, have called forth your praise. And he left them and went out to the city of Bethany, where he spent the night. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We'll see you again tomorrow for the next, the next step in Jesus's journey. Have a great day.